Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another video. I hope everyone is doing well. So tonight I have a bit of a sensual reading for you guys. I have a song synchronicity and the song is Stay. And it's, it's Justin Bieber, I think. Him featuring another artist. I'll probably link it um, down below. But the part of the song that ended up catching my attention was uh, the part where he says, I get drunk, I wake up, I'm wasted still. And I feel like that's a little bit of the divine feminine energy that's coming through here in this reading because many of you might have tried to forget this connection with your divine masculine. And you found yourselves in really vulnerable situations where you might have been drinking or you know you might have started realizing like it's like wow uh, I really do have feelings for this person because I'm obviously trying so hard to forget about them in ways that are just affecting me right now okay so I have a couple of decks here that I want to use and I'm going to start off with asking the decks um like, how does the Divine Feminine feel towards this Twin Flame connection right now? And honestly, guys, I'm going to say Twin Flame straight up because I feel like, you know, back when I stepped on this journey, the, the word Twin Flame was like a moment of clarity. Nowadays, it's like it's become so toxic. It's like, oh, you believe in twin flames? Oh my god, like, yeah, okay, like, come on, let's forget about that. Let's try to explain it in a different way that's more modern. Like, you guys can't take away from ancient text, and that's a strong message that I've been getting. People will always be drawn to the word twin flames, and a part of it will always resonate with you. And I feel like you can't ignore the origins of where this experience came from. You know, many of you might be trying to explain this as like karmic, um, it's not good for you or whatever, and it's only because you're getting caught up in other people's experiences here on YouTube. You know, you really have to discern on your own journey and really stay true to what it is you feel in your heart. And this might be a good reminder for some of you at this time to just stay true to what it is you believe and what it is you know about yourself and your person, okay? Don't let some tarot reader and their community of people in the comments influence your divine connection i guess is what i'm saying okay and oftentimes it's a reminder for us to usually shut off outside influences including social media and just focus on ourselves a little bit a hike or a walk out in nature might tell you more about your connection than sitting down and listening to a tarot reading okay so i got the hermit and usually the hermit's the person that starts walking or jogging or hiking or, you know, it's like, you know, this connection with this person, it's so passionate, it's so intense, it's always at the back of your mind. But right now the flame is kind of blown out. And it's a sign for many of you to just take a time out and connect with your angels, like connect in prayer, go out there and exercise, get fresh air, get a pet, adopt a pet. You know, focus on something else other than the outcome of this co like connection with this other person because at this time it's trying to teach you a lot more about yourself um, than it is about trying to get into a relationship with this person. You might be triggering the heck out of each other right now and it's causing separation. It's because the universe is trying to tell you like you guys are meant to be together right now. Like there's so much about yourselves that you don't even know or haven't discovered yet. And you're never going to learn it by being in each other's presence. You're just going to continue to be codependent on each other. And that's why the sexual energy is always so apparent in twin flame connections. It's because, come on guys, the sex is going to glue you to somebody else a lot more than just your <laughs> interest in uh, arts and crafts, right? You're more drawn to somebody and you're more likely to create cycles with them. If you have a physical attraction to them, it's harder to let go of. So a lot of you are being introduced to the different levels or different levels of elevation for the soul. You know, the soul is often tempted by its greatest desires, you know, and sex is nothing to be afraid of on this journey. I mean, a lot of you wouldn't even be here watching this video if your parents didn't have sex to bring you here. So 
you know, it's a lot of what needs confronting. Even just this image, I can tell, can be really triggering to a lot of people, right? It says so much to everybody. It's art. It speaks volumes to everyone. And this particular reading, what I'm getting here is that, you know, this is a divine feminine who, like, your masculine might be having regrets about this connection, but, like, you're ready to dominate. Like, you're ready to make him feel the lessons the pain of surrendering to his match like he's met his match on this journey like if he thought that he could go through this path alone like he can't and it's 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 not even about needing anything it's about letting love in you know it's not that either of you needs anyone the, the universe has already blessed you guys with so much abundance to the point where you don't need shit, you don't need anybody else, right? But maybe your lesson in life is to become so vulnerable to the point where in all of that strength, you allow somebody else to come in. You know, how vulnerable are you? And I feel like this message speaks to the divine masculine because it's like the feminine is dominating so much in this card. And these are the types of thoughts that your masculine is having in this hermit energy because, I mean, look at what they're doing in this card, right? But look at what they're doing in this hermit energy here of this card. They're just kind of like together, pondering life together, thinking together. But in his animalistic nature, you're taking control here. You're trying to get his attention. Many divine masculines are healing their abilities to be possessive of you, healing jealousy, speaking of healing jealousy we have the release your ex card come out and i think i just shared this in the last reading actually where i talked about um you know many of your masculines are waiting for you to get out of certain situations or they might trying to be testing the waters messaging messaging you sorry under fake accounts um trying to get your attention to find out if you have released your ex or not right because they're having all of these major arcanas. We have the Hermit and the Tower card come up and the Tarot of Sexual Magic. So they're instinctually feeling this. Like, as a man, I miss her. As a man, I want to be with her. As a man, I want to create stability with a feminine energy. As a man, I long for the feminine touch. Uh, is what I'm getting and release your ex is saying like he doesn't want you with anybody else that's why he's willing to fight for this connection and the tower card here like he's actually holding an axe up behind the man who is pursuing her right okay let's see what this card says okay so we have deception so someone's wearing a false mask in this relationship and for a lot of the a lot of you it's your divine masculine because they're holding back and the holding back is wearing a false mask because you know the way the feminine kind of wants to rip it off his face it's like i think he's even with someone else here in the card but i feel like the divine feminine is saying like you know you can take off the mask i'll take off the mask as well or maybe we both wear masks when it comes to this whole twin flame experience because no one else is able to understand what it is we're going through so maybe let's let's just keep the masks on because even if we take it on we're still going to be judged by everybody else so maybe we should keep it on because look at the hand on his shoulder don't be pressured to take it off because of what people are whispering into your ear i'll, I'll wear the mask with you right because we have a new love coming in and it's something you both never expected. A new person stirred your romantic feelings. You know, you both are meant for each other in a sense. Uh, you both think like each other. You have the same values and morals. You both might be very introverted as well as something that I am getting from this experience. So you guys might just... I hear birds in the background and I think that's where this message is coming from. I hear birds... And when I hear the birds, I think about two people just wanting to cozy up in a nest. And I mean, don't think it's going to be boring just because they want to cozy up because this might be what's guanin' up in that nest, right? <laughs> um, I think that your divine masculine is just at this point where he just wants to be with you. He wants time 
to spend with you maybe you want the same divine feminine which is why you're attracted to the reading it's something to ponder at this time all right i love you guys take care and i'll catch you in the next one bye Thank you.